All right, good day everyone. My name is Dave and this is your next Cake PHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll quickly connect to our database, set up our database and connect our Cake PHP application to our database. All right, remember we will end up building a blog from scratch. So to connect to your database, make sure that your WAMP server is running and um, Make sure that your WAMP server is on and running. You've started it. So you, to get to your database, you click on PHP My Admin. It opens the PHP My Admin page for us. Another way to access your PHP My Admin is to quickly just type PHP My Admin on your URL. Localhost. Localhost. Slash PHP My Admin click enter and uh, it opens this page that's one way to access it so here on the right a uh, li list of um, databases already I've already created in the past if you have another SQL um, database manager if you create a database right there in your system it will still reflect here now all the ones you created here will reflect in the other database management system this is just a, a database management system there are many of them so first of all, we we'll create a database. Click on databases, and then um, what do we call our database? Anything. Uh, we could just call it. Uh, since we are creating a blog, we could just call it blog database, uh, blog database, or whatever else you want to call your database. Then we could click create. It will add it to this. It, it has already created it uh, right here. So I'll click on our blog database and of course start adding tables but before we do that we could just um, navigate back to our page remember that kick is warning us that we're not connected to any database so to fix this problem to connect our application to our database what we do is um, we get right back to our folder this is our blog folder you get to config and open up when you get to this um, folder you will navigate down to this point where you have um, data forces default for this file is on line 208 but it could be on any line in your version of cake php all right what it's basically asking me is um, um to enter my database details and once I enter it, it connects to database straight away. It, there is no need for me to rewrite any code that a special database connection code. Uh, apart from that, there is another sentence for database. You could notice that this one is test. As we will run test cases and fixtures on our site, we'll create a different database for it and connect it. We'll connect it, but we don't we're not doing it right now. So make sure that the one you're setting is um, the default. So this is default, we'll leave it to persistent default host local host. Even when you host it on your server, you upload your site on your server, don't change this, it stays local host. And then um, you have your username. The username when you're installing your WAMP server, as long as you don't change anything, as long as you just install the defaults, your username is usually root then if you didn't um, change the password during the installation the password is usually empty note that this is not a space this is empty there is no space in between these two um, guys here all right the next thing is we'll enter a database name oops I've forgotten our database name is blog data blog underscore database so we could go back right here and enter blog underscore Oops. blog underscore database all right the encoding is utfh code the time zone utc code and um, every other thing pre pretty much every other thing is um, cool so we save this file i've saved it i've saved it with ctrl s on my keyboard we we'll save this file then we get back to our kick site and cross check that everything is well i'm going to refresh this um, page right now and see if this error will still be here so i hit the refresh button 
and um, of course there is a refresh all right we're refreshed and oops there is still an error as long as we don't enter the correct parameters to the login of our database this error will stay so mine had a lot of a, a kind of a little um, little configuration mistake here and the password my own password for this laptop i'm using has the password for my sql as basket okay i save when i was installing my own one i chose a password called basket but i'm not advising that you should choose one since it's a local system you could just and you're just uh, starting up you could just leave it empty but if you're sure you change your password this is where you uh, indicate it in your app the php file and when we are back to our page we'll refresh i just hit the refresh button on my keyboard and then it's gone so our site is completely set up right now everything is working perfectly on kick php and we are uh, good to get the crazy people ready all right so see you in the next tutorial where we set up the database of uh, tables for our kick php site thank you very much